Greek, uh, because in Greek it means like um, phobia is a fake violence, the way it's spelled, like pho, um, violence. And I thought that's interesting, uh, that fear is a fake violence that we all have inside of us, and as artists we want to change that. A home of democracy, Socrates, what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful and gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous land and <laughs> so on. It was a very big experience. So now to have a Greek show here in Carnegie Hall, so, so tell us a little bit more. Uh -huh. oh, um, so this is a play that we produced in Greece as a play and then we turned it into a musical here. And since the subject is uh, about the women of Greece, um, saving the whole world, we decided to create each uh, musical of the, um, each uh, song of the musical with a different cultural background. So it was uh, one Greek song and dance, one Italian, one flamenco, one rock and roll, one disco, so it was crazy. Uh, we wanted to represent all cultures and to show how like we are the same and um, we want the same things in order to be happy. And um, as you mentioned before, we want uh, the female presence more in order to be happy in this world. <laughs> well, you, you did hit a lot of different subjects. So tell us a little bit about your involvement. Well, I am a co-producer in the show, and Angelica, uh, you know, I read her script and I and fell in love with it, and I said, we have to produce this, this is wonderful. The messages, the philosophy behind uh, the play, and the fact that we're using Aristophanic satire uh, to get those philosophical messages to people um, and making them laugh and think at the same time and just going to the theater and, you know, perhaps um, making people feel bad, you know. So that's the, the, the goal was to get people thinking and how to do that. Uh, the best way to do that was with their kind of self -talk. So. Got a, got a lot of photo, photography going on here, too, because <laughs> yeah, you two yeah. are very popular, and that's a good thing. So, uh, uh, and you're, I, we want to do this because you need to go and have a drink and relax <laughs> and, uh, and enjoy like the Greeks would do at a moment. <laughs> I know, I know. So, so do you have a website, or where can people learn a little we more about the show? We have a company, it's Popular Theory Inc., and we have a website, www.populartheater.com. Yeah. And um, we also have our Instagram page, Phobia Musical, and we will keep posting things because this is a crazy production that um, we, we can't stop being involved now. We have a cast of 30 people. We yeah, have what a cast. Amazing. Every time somebody new is coming out, I'm saying, where are they <laughs> finding these people? They're going into... With different costumes, different makeup, different things. Little kids? You have little kids yeah. in this movie? And the show, I mean, yeah, God I almighty. It's my kids, Medea's kids, and they're amazing, so talented, and so professional, and yeah. so... But, you know, it was, you know, if, we, if you see what was happening backstage. That would, that's a show of it till <laughs> itself, show right? Of itself. I'm yeah. sure, I'm sure, no, I'm sure it really and is. And did this amazing guest star, and... Uh -huh. um, you know, hope. she was. Uh, I, I told her like, you're gonna sit in the first first row, and then the female chorus will come and get you as Lisa's data. But then she saw half of the show, and then she says, I want to go backstage now. And we'll go backstage. <laughs> really? and Come from there, and I'm like, okay. Yeah, she loves it back there. <laughs> no, she's really perfect for that. She's she's, that. she's very special, and uh, you know, she's such a good Samaritan. And uh, this kind of uh, uh, message for peace and love, um, and hope. Um, is right up her alley. I mean, that's how I met her, through uh, some of her socially-minded, uh, responsible it's outreaches that she does. Person. Very positive. And it's all she, great. we really, really appreciate her, her help and her presence, because yes. when, wherever she comes, she gives light. Yes. This and is so. Yeah, yeah. Um, light, and also um, she's a female leader herself, so that's one of the biggest messages of the play. You know, she's a, she's a role model. Yeah, big time. Let me ask you, I'll start with you, because we ask these two questions of everybody. What does peace mean to you? Peace, for me, means um, being good with yourself so that you can be good with others, and that would create peace. That's what that means to me. Beautiful, beautiful. And for you, your name she's is? A philosopher. My name is Angelica Sandora. And I think that peace is what we need right now. And it starts from our personal relationships and then it goes to society. Okay, last question because we have a channel for love. 
And what does love mean to you? And if you could say your name again. My please. name is Angelica Sandora, and I believe that love is everything that gives birth, that it's the creates in this world. All right, beautiful, thank you. And your thoughts on love? Love is at the root of everything, and if we could find that, then then that's one of the biggest um, contributors to peace. All right, thank you both very much. Thank Beautiful you, night. Thank you. Congratulations to you.